Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'd like to talk about why you should be considering against these Android dongles, Apple TVs, or Google dongles, or maybe something like Nvidia Shield, and think about this sort of extremely small mini PCs that you can see here in my GMK Take G5 video. I review this device and right now I'm using it connected to my TV and my two terabytes of hard drive is connected. It's an archive drive and my movies are inside. And I'm going to show you why you should be considering these sort of small PCs against Android dongles, Apple TVs, Amazon Fire Sticks, or maybe even Nvidia Shield. Here's the reason. These devices are getting extremely cheaper and the PC that I'm showing you in this video is about $100 roughly. So it's a palm size, smallest device with a two HDMI, two 4K support HDMI port. So you can connect your projector, you can connect your TV, and it's a proper Windows licensed mini PC. You can see how small it is in my hand, literally in this video. I'm going to stop this and I'm playing YouTube right now online. I'm at the background, I'm downloading stuff. And the background, again, I've opened up the Kodi, connected to my hard drive, and I'm going to show you that. But the device has a Wi-Fi 5 and also Bluetooth 4.2. That means I can use my headphones, earbuds, and personal. I can connect any soundbar or create a con uh, personal cinema experience. But reasons are not finished there. This device has 12 gigabytes of uh, memory. And with the M.2 SSD inside, you can buy like 256 to 512 gigabytes of storage so you got a lot of storage and memory and in this dedicated review i open up the photoshop and manipulated lots of images about 2k to 4k resolution with 30 and above layers it didn't lack and i created ai artificial placements i've changed the tones enhanced the sharpening i just clone stamped some stuff covered up cleaned up stuff add some uh, objects into the photos with lots of layers it didn't have any problems and you can open up literally hundreds of maybe not hundreds but over 50 maybe tabs and you're good to go so you can really use this device as a proper pc at home basically if you need it it's not the best hardware but it, it will get the job done but the most important part for me was to be able ability to connect multiple hard drives without any problem playing multiple uh, videos with multiple different codecs i can install any codec i can install any software and this device has the windows license built in so i can upgrade the operating system without any problem but androids or some other applications like maybe apple tv devices tend to lack some of the upgrades if you have like two or three years old device system might not upgrade so you gotta stuck with android 9 maybe Android 10 but with this you're going to be upgraded all the time at least until the windows 12 maybe even later versions this is going to be taking a long time considering these devices upgrade failures but there are lots of advantages against these small devices let me just count the numbers first thing is first for me i have ripped a lot of movies from my blu-ray archive and also i have an old archive like old movies in my different hard drives that i want to watch later on with my projectors and with my tvs so what do i end up with if i connect any hard drive to the android devices like this dongles like adding a y style cable i made a dedicated video to add an additional type a usb port or from a type c multiplier like new google dongles to add like USB 3.0 ports, still Android devices like this don't have the ability, at least overall my experience, don't have the ability to browse like a big NTFS uh, hard drive or XFAT drive, like two terabytes or four terabytes, maybe even bigger drives. They fail to search in and build a profile like this. As you can see, I, I can change it everything here from the PC without a problem. But when you do the similar stuff, they lock themselves down. They can't cache that much of a video, that amount of video content, and they fail. 
Sometimes they lock themselves down. Sometimes the operating system can crash. And most of the time they fail. At least my Realme 4K dongle and my Xiaomi box failed a lot along the process. So that's why I've decided instead of those devices, I would pick up something like this mini PC and continue where I left off when I needed to. And in this dedicated video, you can really look up the performance, like lots of benchmarks there. And I'm talking about every kind of like specs and my experience. So it is $99. Of course, you can find a dongle from $35 to maybe $60 that can play 4K videos to H264 or H265 without a problem, you think. But there is a catch. These devices are using AM Logic All Winner. If you're not going to go NVIDIA territory like NVIDIA Shield, go around $300. If you go pay cheaper prices for Android boxes or dongles, what you end up with, those chipsets, they are going to make you a trick. The trick is they are projecting a Full HD menu. And inside of that Full HD menu, they're going to play 4K YouTube videos. And nothing wrong with that. I made explanations uh, in my early videos. So they're actually not giving 4K signal to your device. They're giving Full HD signal, but internally they are playing 4K movie instead of a Full HD signaled uh, uh, creation. So what they're actually doing, just playing 4K inside of a Full HD. So the, your TV and your projector has to make the upscaling. So with that being said, they are increasing their performance. I can do the same thing with my S22 Ultra smartphone. I can uh, dim down the resolution or lower the resolution and I can have more performance out of my smartphone. So that is nothing to do. That is nothing wrong to do. But actually, this PC, small PC, is giving 4K signal. And that's the best part of it. Like right now, literally, let me just go back. As you can see, it is a size of a gamepad. And you can see here, I've installed the Steam app. You can go back and check the full review. But basically, it can play games from Steam. And it's smaller than a gamepad, half the size of the gamepad. Basically, size of a proper small mouse. So, you got a lot, of, a lot to think about. Isn't there any catch of the PC? Yes, there is. But let me just count down the positives. You can connect the big hard drives. You can download the codecs like um, K-Lite Mega Codec Pack. You can install Pod Player, GOM Player, VLC Player, uh, BS Player, any kind of like potentially video player that you can think of, and any kind of like codecs like DivX codecs. And like again told you, K-Lite uh, style Mega Codec Pack. You can install new codecs, you can play videos without problem from XFAT to NTFS files. But basically, Android devices are suited mostly for XFAT or uh, FAT drives. If you have a big thumb drive or hard drive, these won't be searching, be able to search fully inside of those big drives. And that's the main issue. One other advantage of the PC is you can connect your Blu-ray Blu drive like an external Blu-ray Blu USB drive, and you can play your Blu-ray Blu movies from them. And you can rip the movies to get yourself a better archive. And you can basically download anything with much more ease with any app in the real time. Of course, you can add a web a camera to this and put that webcam above the TV and you got yourself a Zoom conference call or Skype conference call device. So these devices are like proper PCs with operating system with licenses and you can do basically anything that you can imagine with a basic TV, uh, basic PC. But my purpose is, what if we think them as a media devices? The only thing they lack, and that's the biggest line here that you got to think about. You can voice command an Android device or Apple TV, okay, or Amazon Fire Stick. But when it comes down to the voice command, Cortana or basically Windows Assistant might not be ideal. And if you're going to control a PC, you're going to need a keyboard 
and the mouse, or you're going to need something like a TV style air mouse and the keyboard combination. Those are going to be adding to your total cost because you got to buy a little more expensive and premium device if you're going to use air mouse like this something proper but at, that also opens up a new category of work that you can install a fruit ninja and play air mouse style games from a pc and you can add game pass to it and play games with your console remotely from this device you got lots of options so options are not limited but in this video i want to cover why you should be thinking for media purposes uh, for both TVs and projectors. Let me know what you think at the comment section below. If you think this is a useful device that you can, you know, play any movies, any codecs with, as you can see, I made the power consumption. In the idle, this device is GMK Tech uh, G5 is using four watts of power. With the 4K playback, it throws out nine watts of power. And with the average and the maximum, if you play games, it goes up from 13 watts to 20 watts. So it's nothing much. So basically you are, you are creating yourself a download machine, gameplay machine, casting machine, anything that you can probably think of. It's not the best PC out there. There are more powerful GMK tech like M6 that I review uh, early for another channel. I will review it here too with a Ryzen 5 CPU. So you can do a lot more than you think. And I think we should give them, give small PCs with a low cost, a big chance to play videos. I'm going to finish this section of the video by showing you from an 8K Paradise channel, a video. This is an 8K video. And I'm going to show you by uh, this, with the status, uh, stats for nerds. As you can see with the 2K video, it drops about 15 frames and it's stopped there so with the 2k footages we don't have any drop frames at 60p but if your browser is not chrome if you're using like edge okay because it's drawing a lot more power and one more thing if you got like 4k but 60p it might drop a couple of frames because of the hardware internally but 4k 24p 4k 30p don't have any issues this is just a but from of course a browser because browsers are also drawing some of the power but right now i am downloading at the background let me just increase the resolution from 2k to 4k let's just see how much drop that we are having two frames drop that's about it so right now the footage is 4k 60p only two frame drop out of 600 so we're not even dropping frame for 60p 4k videos the only thing that you might have is if you just go for the highest bitrate video from like 8k special videos out there with the 4k 60p high bitrate resolution that you might have a couple of drops there but you're going to be able to play just like a tv sorry just like a proper big pc without any issues giving 4k signal to the windows and no upscale needed and in that 4k windows you're playing 4k videos from youtube or any kind of like hard drive videos in this video i'm not opening up licensed movies from cody but look how easy it is to drop it down and go back to the cody and browse a big archive like this as you can see it's a lot easier than going through a big drive with an android if you ever try that you know what i mean they are lacking a lot of speed and they are crashing the reason behind it these are using all winner or am logic kind of like chipset if they have used something like my s22 ultra snapdragon latest 8 gen 8 gen or maybe even 7th gen snapdragon or exynos highest cpu and gpu combination like a thousand dollar smartphone they might have no problem but they are using budget cpu gpu combinations although they can play anything that doesn't mean they are flawless but if you go to the nvidia side of things like shield you got a lot increased price but it's up to you i think it's like a gaming console price and i think much more expensive stuff 
for something like this that you can do much more without any issues and one more thing Windows has an app store like this as you can see you can install many of the apps it's going to come don't worry but right now I'm playing 4k videos at the background I'm downloading here with flashcat and I'm trying to open up the Windows market but basically you can install WhatsApp you can install Instagram Netflix Spotify or anything that you imagine and you can install mobile games just like a mobile device and since this device can handle many things you can play with your kids asphalt Minecraft mobile games with your TV or projector so it's up to you I think the most important part in the end of this video no upscale need from your TV and projector and that will increase the quality and built-in apps and what you can install as codecs and what you can upgrade later on is a big advantage so mini PCs like GMK Tech G5 and I want to go back to my personal review here let's go back to my full review has a lot more than you think I know a lot of people are dragging them down because they are cheap but they are gamers these devices I'm not telling you these are gaming devices you can play casual games but more importantly you can use them as a lot more complicated media players so hope to see in the next video I hope this video was useful for you like it was personally useful for me I'm going to go back and watch a video after this personal shoot and hope to see in the next video until the next one Hoşçakalın. and you can watch the full review in the description around the corners I got lots of tutorials until the next video Hoşçakalın.